welcome back to Good Night Stars, where we read beautiful literature on YouTube together. Tonight we are reading the works of Edgar Allan Poe, who lived from 1809 to 1849. The first poem is called The Lake. In youth spring it was my lot to haunt of the wide earth a spot, the which I could not love the less, so lovely was the loneliness of a wild lake with black rock bound, and the tall pines that towered around. But when the night had thrown her pall upon that spot, as upon all, and the wind would pass me by in its stilly melody, my infant spirit would awake to the terror of the lone lake. Yet that terror was not fright, but a tremulous delight, and a feeling undefined, springing from a darkened mind. Death was in that poisoned wave, and in its gulf a fitting grave, for him who thence could solace bring to his dark imagining, whose wildering thought could even make an Eden of that dim lake. To Helen Helen, thy beauty is to me, like those Mickeyan barks of yore, that gently o'er a perfumed sea, the weary, wayworn wanderer bore to his own native shore. On desperate seas long wont to roam, thy hyacinth hair, thy classic face, thy naiad airs have brought me home, to the glory that was Greece, and the grandeur that was Rome. Lo, in yon brilliant window niche, how statue-like I see thee stand, the agate lamp within thy hand, ah, Psyche, from the regions which are the Holy Land. The Doomed City Lo, death hath reared himself a throne in a strange city all alone, far down within the dim west, and the good and the bad and the worst and the best have gone to their eternal rest. Their shrines and palaces and towers are not like anything of ours. Oh no, oh no, ours never loom to heaven with that ungodly gloom, time-eaten towers that tremble not, around by lifting wings forgot, resignedly beneath the sky the melancholy waters lie. A heaven that God doth not condemn with stars is like a diadem. We liken our lady's eyes to them, but there, that everlasting pall, it would be mockery to call such dreariness a heaven at all. Yet though no holy rays come down on that long night time of that town, light from the lurid deep sea streams up the turrets silently, up thrones, up long forgotten bowers, of sculpted ivory and stone flowers, up domes, up spires, up kingly halls, up fanes, up Babylon-like walls, up many a melancholy shrine whose entablures intertwine the mask, the vial, and the vine. There open temples, open graves are on a level with the waves, but not the riches there that lie in each idol's diamond eye not the, gale, the gaily jeweled dead tempt the waters from their bed, for no ripple curl, ripples curl, alas, along that wilderness of glass. No swellings hint that winds may be upon a far off happier sea. So blend the turrets and shadows there that all seem pendulous in air, while from the high towers of the town death looks gigantically down. But lo, a stir is in the air, the wave, there is a ripple there. As if the towers had thrown aside in slightly sinking the dull tide, as if the turret tops had given a vacuum in the filmy heaven, the waves have now a redder glow, the very hours are breathing low. And when amid no earthly moans, down, down that hall, down, down that town shall settle hence, Hell, rising from a thousand thrones, shall do it reverence, and death to some more happy clime shall give his undivided time. To one in paradise. 
Thou wast all that to me, love, for which my soul did pine. A green isle in the sea, love, a fountain and a shrine. All wreathed in fairy fruits and flowers, and all the flowers were mine. Ah, dream too bright to last, ah, starry hope that didst arise, but to be overcast. A voice from out the future cries, on, on, but o'er the past dim gulf, my spirit hovering lies, mute, motionless, aghast. For alas, alas, with me the light of life is over. No more, no more, no more. Such language holds the solemn sea to the sands upon the shore. Shall bloom the thunder blasted tree or the stricken eagle soar. And all my days are trances and all my nightly dreams are where thy gray, their, thy gray eye glances and where thy footstep gleams. In what ethereal dances by what eternal streams. Thank you very much for listening and joining me. If you want to hear more, please subscribe. And until next time, good night, stars. Mm -hmm.